go. And it's a perfect world anytime. What time is it? Where are you in time? I'm in Denmark. Yeah. What? So I'm still not straight on this. It's six o'clock there. Yeah. PM. Yeah. And I thought it should be seven PM. Right. Next week when they change the time here, they haven't changed it yet. So you're the same time as. Uh, like London. it didn't change. No, we're right. an hour. We're an hour later than London. We're, That's what yeah. I thought. So what is it, Grit, uh, Greenwich Mean Time there? Or you two, it doesn't you change for another week after ours, you. Do you understand? Ours, Wait, ours, who's ours? Wait a minute. I thought yours changed. Then why are we on America. an hour early? America. We're not. It's one. P- it's after 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Yeah, That's but, when the uh, schedule says. Yeah, but it's it's an hour earlier here. Wait a minute. I'm going to go look for the schedule here and see what it says. I 7 think it o'clock. Says 1 p.m. Yeah, 1 so, p.m. Uh, on Tuesday. 7 o'clock, except for that little bit when I started doing it at 2 in the morning. <laughs> because you were off on a hiatus with your Hi, potatoes. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to In a Perfect World. We're running a little bit late. This is, still, this is still me, Flash, and... Somebody. This is me, Vinny. Mm. Kind of. I'm. My voice has left me. Ah. Well, your mind left you long ago. It's about time now. you made a pair out of it. Anyway. There it is. It says it. So we have all... I don't n- care what anything says. Oof. Freak. It all says the same... Different things at the same time. I'm going to bring it over. Keep, for your perusing To keep the pleasure. aggravation levels at... High frequency. We must be aggravated, sir. Are you aggravated? I knew it was five hours. When did they? No. When did they change? No, um, it's five hours to England from from New York, and it's, no, it's six, six to Denmark. It's an hour yeah. more than that. So. Right. I lived so, out here for eleven. Well, since eleven, I know what I'm doing. I'm a well, professional at time. Yeah. It's five hours ahead of me in central time. Zone. You know what? But, I don't care. But why? Well, why? I'm trying to figure out because there's like a week that people are like lost in time. That's what I've been saying for the last half hour to you, but you don't listen to it. You uh, keep uh, talking. Anyway. Grimner said Grimner! time changed last Sunday. U.S. time changed this Sunday. So yours already changed. Then ours already changed. I don't give a squat. That's it's always swapped why, up. See, I don't That's care. That's why you're confused. You're lost. I'm it. not fucking confused. I don't give you a land squat. You do. I'm gonna. <laughs> I want to get you. I. Um, I want to get to the bit. Zone. I want to get to the bots and bodies and pass on this time crap. You're killing me. Here. Get them. I am Go so fucking bored. I'm ready to fall asleep. Come on, stop it. Really? I we got Barman, Beetle, Grimnir, Moose Girl, Anti, Asmo, Chalcedoni, Echelon, Grand Z, Java Doc, Two Mice, Frau, Ponder Gander, Poopster, Prince, and Kate, Rob Works, Rums, Vanna White, Vinny, Weatherdorf, Woodman, Phantom, CC66, Chaskira, Circle, Cyborg, Noodle, Duh, E Man, Ensive, Me, Frumpy, Gromit, Jays, Nines, Jays, Mr. Snick, Real Donny Woo, Sock Puppet, Slim Jim, Flim, Smart ass, the holiest Roger and Zippix. Zippix. That's the lineup of bots and bodies to get us off this boring ass complaining about the fucking time. Ooh. Well, nobody's complaining. We're trying to. Figure I'm it complaining. Out. I'm not trying to. Well, figure. it's you man-made. Forgot it's bullshit. Time thing. No, I didn't forget I, anything. I didn't pay I, attention to it in the first place. It's not my I, game, Vinny. I don't I'm care. That, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do, 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 do. What if? What if uh, what? What is that? Yes, what if the Twilight Zone was <laughs> <a> southern? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's on your mind tonight, though, besides time? This time shit's just a bunch of crap. Keep it's all arguing. yucky outside. I, I is it? Got work. Yeah, I've been doing stuff outside. It's so yucky. Yeah, I buried a... Uh, my water line from the well, and uh, so I, I took all my underpinning down, and I got to insulate it and put it all back up. But it's yucky, and it's going to rain tomorrow, and it's going to get cold, and it's not going to be done by the time the cold weather hits. Oh, ouch. Well, that's so, not yeah, good thinking. 
Oh, well, we, uh, I'm used to cold weather. Well, sometimes. why'd you put it off so long? Are you feeling lazy? No, I just do what I want to when I do it. But uh, I had a track hoe come over. Buddy brought it over. Dug a line for me. Because it's hard, hard dirt up our... So, yeah, it was a lot easier. So, I, yeah, I'm moving the water line. And I got to move the... Uh, something's talking. Sir oh, is yeah. talking I'm, over you. Yes, I uh, know. Right next to me. Go figure it yeah. out. Why. So, my buddy says you can't move the pressure tank on, <laughs> on the top of the well. It's like that pressure tank doesn't know that it water's running horizontal when the pump's pumping water out of the ground into it. So, doesn't. it could run up 55... Uh, or it's like 65 foot down. I think it's, it's only like 50 something that drops down into the well. But once it comes up, it goes, you know. No, you're describing along. you're describing a physical picture in words that I probably, I'm not a plumber in the first place. So outside of it doesn't work, that's all I know about plumbing. It works, it don't work. Well, there's only three things you need to know about. No, the there's three things you need to know. If I needed to know them, I would have went out of my way to learn them a long time ago. Well, I, I'm here to help you, mister. No, First no, I don't want to be a Danish plumber. They've got I Danish plumbers charge, already. Charge roll downhill. <laughs> Payday's on Friday. And don't bite your fingernails. <laughs> oh, man. Is that all he's and got? Jim. Wow. That's just free. Yeah, well, you know, you need to get rich so people can stand you, Vinny. Why? Because you give that kind of advice where people get kind of like, hey, what the fuck's with him? Don't bite your... Oh, come on. Don't bite your fingers. <laughs> what do you I'm, think? You're living a, what, are you right living now. among a bunch of chimpanzees or what? Hmm? No, hmm? no, squirrels. squirrels. Trying to get a nut. Yeah, no. everybody's just trying to get down <laughs> nut. What do you try <laughs> get my voice back. I can't hold my voice to do, to do and, my own radio broadcast solo or read. Hey, to, the, to the non-believer yeah. out there in the listening audience, and if you ever wondered if there is a God, think what if, what Vinny just said. He just pleased a lot of people. I did. Oh, yeah. Be, you, no. you've, made, you've made a few enemies on the interwebs of the world, mister. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, there's people many. out. Oh uh, no, people out there don't yeah. like you, son. They yeah, even say uh, so. They even disagree with some, your. They disagree. With some your of them. State. Yeah. Some of them work for the federal government, and others have trolled me. Yeah. There's. Uh, yeah. That's what you get when you're a, a real person, you know, and not like uh, Pinocchio. Have you ever trolled anyone? Yeah. Who? Uh, J.J. McNabb, and then she blocked me. J.J. McNabb, and who else? Um, Kieran Suckling. Never heard of him. Um, he's a big, big wig for the Center for Biological Diversity. What does that mean? He, he blocked me. I got the Wait, wait, what, what the hell there. is biological diversity? Isn't biology, yeah, then, uh, wait, wait, isn't biology a science? How do you yeah, diversify they, uh, a science? What the hell are well, they, they talking about? They're making up words gotta, to explain shit. Right. Yeah, it's all trickery. They oh. um, they call it best science and science says, and they got these studies. And, uh, you know, basically it's just a, a convolution and a propagation of lies for an agenda. So what it's not yeah, like But what people, topic are you talking about? Animals. The, the uh, Center for Biological Diversity wants to exclude humans from... Places that are like barren and near lifeless, and so that uh, um, maybe a, a darting minnow or a guppy or a lizard or a toad or a um, mm. something, you know, can be undisturbed. A tortoise, that's of course the most famous of all. Mm. Oh, I don't know yeah. about the most famous. It's just, mm. you know. I just think there's too much stuff in this world to be an expert about. And instant potatoes has given us this false idea that you read something on the Internet, so you're an expert at it now. You know everything. Oh, you saw the truth. Oh, you know all the stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And what time proves is that it doesn't matter what you fucking know. Knowing shit doesn't change anything. Doing something. Mm, but... 
what approach do you take to actually get something done in life? You know, is it a physical thing? Is it a mental thing? Is it a money thing? Is it a is it a word your, game you play with other people? Yeah, I'll make you a deal. If you do this for me, I'll do that for you. But then the physical shit comes in somewhere. Well, Grimner shared a uh, a link from Bundy Strong. It's uh, Mike Stickler over on Twitter. He's got a book going out. But I, uh, what would I even say? I I like pitched in and promoted his book for him. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, when I met him there in Vegas, I says, uh, hey, man, did, uh, have I garnered a, your book yet? He said, yeah. He says, I'll, I'll send you a copy. And uh, I had just known him like a week or two. Nice guy. He was in prison with, uh, with Clavin. Ah. Oh, you and your prison buddies. Uh, you know, compared to you, I have the most boring freaking life in the world telling you but i like it that way i didn't i do brag about that i like i like the uh the change from 90 miles an hour to 10 (laughs) oh it gets fast out here sometimes it doesn't here (laughs) six cars in a (laughs) row traffic (laughs) traffic well you're you're coughing on time because you know what? Is it that is? time? No, I got oh, 19. Hey! I just thought I clicked 20 hours. Boom, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Early Swazi skunk bud to the RLM peeps. When we get a double duty, we got some stuff, uh, Dutch Dragon. That sounds scary, doesn't it? Mm. Dutch yeah. Dragon. Kind of, we mm. got bots in here. Yeah. Smart ass. He says fire. He fires up the bubbler and ties it hey, around. Hey, I, I got a weird question. Hmm. Do, you, do you think that making a decision is a part of reality? Or or is it possible that making a decision is just as much a fantasy as the reality that we look at? Huh? 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 How's that for deep there, Mr. Biddy? <laughs> Not really. It's, uh, you know, that's pretty old. Yeah. Well, what would I say? Just ponderings. Um, you know, if you don't believe in a walk and you walk through it, I just... I don't know. Well, I, I've seen some freaking amazing things physically done in life. And flukes, yeah. and flukes, right? So, I'm one of those people that's got that leaning towards just about anything physical that you can talk about is probably possible. But you have to know the secrets to get to it. Well, if you break us like all magic. down, well, no, not like magic, like some other dimension, because we're basically just a bunch of electricity vibrating in, in a space, taking up within time. a field, right? Yeah, right. So we're we're so, confined to a specific field, and um, that's that's my uh, okay. Well, uh, explain those guys that right. can hit a brick with one arm and crack all the bricks down through the to the bottom. They they really do this shit. How do they do it? You ever see balls whack and swing? Ball, no, the, I don't uh, even know what yeah, you're saying. Concert, this is a demonstration of the conservation of energy. No. Tap, tap. You know the balls, they're all in a line hanging on a line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like pendulum tap, thing. Tap, yeah. tap, 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 Call tap. And you got the other balls in between. They don't move, only the two on the outside. Uh-huh. Right? Right. Because it transfers of energy. Tap, tap, tap. tap. And your point? Is that well, is your point that the two balls on the outside move and the other stone? Right, they send that energy through. Okay, so, so but <coughs> they can only go so far, right? I mean, but over a life of being over a life down of, the entropy over a life of being pounded, does that wear it down at all, or does that change anything, or does it just constantly uh, take the beating no. of the two of the other two balls hitting them? Without any well, friction or, or wear, you have to apply the initial inertia there with the uh, raising the one on one end and releasing it. It depends on what you make it out of. Then it, it will go lower and lower. Yeah, I mean, there's metals can, that you can't like, you can't bend them without heat. If you can manipulate, you know, the forces and fields, the, the parameters. So 
if um, hmm. like ma magnets, right? If you've got the uh, two poles and and you got it all time just right, and you got a bunch of them in a circle, and they, you know, spinning around, they hit, pull, 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 push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. You know. Hey, I got a but, question but for Graham. No, wait, 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 Vinny, Vinny hang on. Hey, no Graham, do, do magnets destroy uh, electronics if they're kept too close, or is that just the story? Because I've heard that rumor story point of view. I've never had to deal with it, so I don't know. But I heard magnets and computers don't mix. Sorry, Vinny. I just wanted to get that out there before I forgot it. Well, the, the, like uh, cassettes and 8-tracks, uh, VHS, you could uh, remove the recording with the magnet there. I'm not sure about the electronics inside of a computer. I, I wouldn't think there would be any uh, anything that would affect it. Now, your screen, put a magnet up on your uh plasma screen it's going to do some stuff there probably even mess it up yeah i don't want to experiment with it and see while we're live on the show i just thought because i've read things and heard things over life and you know sometimes people are telling you the truth and sometimes the bullshit they think they know stuff or they heard something like me you know, i only i think if you put a magnet on your computer screen yeah it'll mess it up and it'll like blur the you know, rainbow colors oh. out and uh, Woody, Woody was having trouble finding his uh, finding a latch in his back seat to get to his spare in his uh, in his uh, jack. And I I thought of why didn't he post a picture of what he's got? And maybe somebody will recognize it and go, Oh yeah, I know where the latch is because sometimes they're like that. You, you just, ever see one that uh, under a truck where you got to get in there and like take a. Your, your tool and spin it around and it lowers it down on the chain. Yeah, I had a Datsun in 1970 Datsun pickup truck and it had that spinner on the bottom and the wheel was underneath the truck. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I did. First time I come across that, I'm like, how do you get that thing out of there? Yeah, nobody could figure it out. But where's your spare? You no, know, you'll never find it because you. The people I was around were just too lazy to get down on their back on the ground and look under the truck. <laughs> it just w wasn't the biggest thing to do. Never right. mind. Here's, anyway. Here comes some answers to your question there in the chat room. Yeah. Well, I mean, just magnetics is such an, it's an interesting thing. And here we are. We're all computer people. And we're all on our computers. But if you mix those two physically, I've heard... Sometimes shit happens that you don't want to happen. And well, we, we don't got, use floppy disk anymore, and a, a magnet's got not going to affect a uh, a, a CD. Well, are are the old TV. wait? Are all those old systems completely not operational anymore? That you can't even use them. It would be like if you had a 1932 Ford, you could still drive it. You wouldn't. Or you wouldn't have to. Well, yeah, you would because they changed the gasoline. Huh? <coughs> Wow, everything's all fucked up there. Never well, mind. Well, here's uh, yeah, here's confirmation of what I was saying. Rome's just clearing it up in uh, in Grimner. Uh, as far as the okay. magnet on the your Rome. screen, it will mess it up. I so, messed yeah, you, my new monitor up, placing a speaker on the corner. I didn't think the computer speaker made for computers sold should do that, right? But oh, okay, see there you go. It can. It has possibilities. Yeah, but the two colored. But the two ideas, the internet thing and then the magnetic thing, separately, are huge. And we've got all these distractions, batteries and solar and all this other crap. And hemp and battery, hemp and uh, magnetics would probably fix everything. And we got a dead audience. You know, they're they're too busy with climate change and school and jobs and who's the best dressed dancer on TV, <laughs> shit like that. The important stuff. Trump, Obama, Nancy fucking Pelosi. I mean, you know, the important stuff. I don't stuff. watch those people. Huh? I don't watch those people. Well, watching them or not, they still dictate the uh, the rules for the people they work for. They're, they're dangerous fuckers, man. And uh, somebody's running against Pelosi right now, but Pelosi's so old, she probably wants to get out of that job now. <laughs> What's she, about 90? Oh, no. She's been in uh, Congress for 40 looks, fucking years. Looks, looks pretty old. She looks road hard and put away wet. 
<laughs> you know, comparing Pelosi and Trump. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What I do, I just see how people react and what they say. That so people were all like in love with Trump, and uh, <laughs> I about had some argumentative words, ar- argumentative words with a, a good friend while I was out there in Vegas, and uh, he was like, "Trump, Trump," and I said, "Trump sucks." You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. They, they since determined that Trump sucks, and then there was people that on the left that were yay Pelosi and then they're like ooh that witch she won't uh, go ahead with the uh, um, removal of Trump impeachment wow hey and then on top of all that Grimner threw in read what Grimner said about the magnetic stuff I was inquiring you want to read yeah there's a device called uh, what is that the gauzer which is basically a strong electromagnet that is designed to wipe magnetic media. We use those at General Dynamics to erase the big real tests. Yeah, I know what those are. Um, Thank you, Richard is Nixon. Your, is your uh, is a, a PC or even a tower? Is that uh, can a magnet do something to you? I mean, what if you put a big magnet on your um, keyboard where your electronics are below there? No, it no, doesn't take so uh, even your strip on your you know your uh, credit card and stuff. They've got uh, little things on the uh, at some stores. They'll lay it on there. They'll wipe a card if there's like some uh, question as to the authenticity. Really? Wipe the card out. Yeah, demagnetize. Wow. Just yeah, just deactivate it. Isn't that some control we're under here, people? I I'm starting well, to I'm starting to like it to protect. Uh, um, you know, personal data and stuff that they're suspected of that. Yeah, but that's an easy thing to, to say to control somebody else. Well, we suspected the theft, so we broke in your house to protect it. Oh, you know what I saw a link of a couple of weeks huh. ago? Now, yeah. I don't I, I don't claim that every... You get a little excitable about the links. I don't claim every link I see is true, but they're very entertaining. And this one was, <laughs> a, a, it was about a guy that get had... Up. He'd fallen in his home and been removed to the hospital. And then they got video of the cop coming in, searching his freaking house while he's in the hospital. Stealing, and pills. stealing pills and money and going through other rooms and coming out. Yeah. But he still worked for months out while they were investigating. And they had a video of it. They still investigate while he's working. Dude, what? <laughs> this... If, is this I'm like a joke? <laughs> or is that really how the people behave where I'm from? Might wonder. Some people do. There used to be. Uh, it, it's not as strongly instilled in today's age. It's, it's. You know, some people might see the that blue line blurring and breaking up. Uh, it used to be a tradition. You don't. You never rat out another cop. You know, one cop never. Uh, testifies against you or anything like that. Corruption has been prevalent to um, certain police agencies, you know, known for the corruption. Mm. Boston, of course, <laughs> New York, Chicago, L.A. Any I've place gangs, with a big population. Yeah. yeah. Gangs actually run in uh, precincts out, uh, out west. Well, I told you a long time ago, I think the gangs and the damn cops work together. Yeah, Why would the gangs exist if they weren't necessary? They'd get rid of them. See? Try starting your own that. gang and you'll see what I'm talking about. You All know, the, you know they got black ops and spooks and uh, the uh, moving the things around, uh, drugs and weapons and stuff. And, uh, I wonder if they're together. licensed in the states as businesses. Do a D&B and look up the crypts. <laughs> the crypts oh. are... D, they're D and B rated, <laughs> triple A credit. <laughs> Never mind. You don't know what that meant, or you did. Dun and Bradstreet was a credit rating system we used in the day to judge a company's worth and their ability to uh, keep their word and pay their freaking bills and not be a bunch of trumps about it. And uh, 
I would say that gangs are probably working as some kind of businesses. I don't know if you can connect it, but it's got to be out there somewhere. They're making a, ch- a ton of money, right? And you don't move money without a bank, and you don't bank without a business. That's common sense. You don't just walk into a bank. Hey, I'm from the Crips. Here's some dough. You know, it's got to be professional. So how do they bypass all the expectations of the public to get away with their shit that they pull on us right right into our face? And then lie. You know, ever-changing, evolving cat and mouse. And uh, um, there's a lot of things that was easy to do in the past you can't do now. Like uh, people would, uh, they called kiting. They'd kite your credit and then like take a loan here on this credit card and go get another credit card take the loan there pay the other one back just kind of rotate it um that that's not you know you, you've heard Hal talk about uh how, how it's changed the banking regulations you have to uh have certain documentation that, that was otherwise not uh, needed to <laughs> ask Here, here's Grimner talking about finishing up here on this uh if you're using a standard HDD, that's a hard disk drive, rather than SSD, a solid state drive. The magnets can uh, slash data up. Can, will. Can and will. Yeah, it'll mess up your data, but it won't destroy the drive. You can reformat and use it again. Oh. I, I think I, I got an SSD here, didn't I, Grammar? you remember this thing I got here? I think that's solid state. Yeah, I Is don't it? even have a disk in this at all, but that I know of. There's no external uh, port for this. <clears throat> Remember the old towers? They had the floppy drive. What were they? Five-inch floppies or something like that. Or three-inch. Yeah, but three it, and a half. now that all that stuff is all outdated, but it, can you still use it? Can it operate anymore? Yeah. Or, but are, are you sure? Well, I'm fairly are, sure that uh, I, I have that, that work. Uh, you, uh, way back when, you mm-hmm. know, the old ones, you can still use that. Now, whether you have any way of, uh, uh, what would it accomplish to use? I mean, well, I'd be really slow and stuff mm-hmm. compared to what we got now. Right. You know, huh. Maybe some people like that. You know, so it was some like, people like Atari. Remember the original Atari, and now they got like, uh, what, uh, Xbox and stuff. So yeah. people still like that. So it was Atari like a thing. plan. You know? It's, yeah, it's always the plan. Plan planned, planned obsolesce, obsolesce. Yeah, I like when Mary brings that one. She's my favorite planned obsolescence representative. You're doing fine, Vinny. I was just comparing oh, you to my yeah. favorite, Miss Thank Mary. You. I can have a favorite if I want to. It's my show. Nobody caught that. Nobody, Nobody caught that fish. What fish? Oh, the game fish. I don't play any of that stuff. What is the point of all that ducks and fish stuff anyway? What are you trying to do? Something, something to do. You know, it's a competition. Oh, thing. the competition it's thing. A, yeah. for, and it's also participation for others. Oh, there, Donna yeah. got him. He caught 20 I don't care fishes. for it. Yeah, I like to play uh, solo games. Even on uh, even on the, the game that's designed to be in a group, I still like to go in there and do it alone and see how far I can get before I get killed. So you used to do what gaming online and stuff. I play an old game that I was playing in America called Lord uh, Lord of the Rings online, mm-hmm. and it's an old game. I've been playing it forever, but just I got a lot of different characters. <laughs> it's uh, to me that I think the time spent doing that is better than uh, disagreeing with you about who owns the color blue. I do. Yeah, but we disagree about some shit. And then sometimes, in my opinion, you get stuck on a point and you won't let go of it and you, you won't hear the rest of it. I think we all do that. I think I do that. I'm just accusing think, you uh, of it because I'm saying something. <laughs> yeah, but I think a lot of times you assume mm-hmm. to, uh, well, like the uh, I don't answer questions deal. See yeah. That? Oh, good topic, too. Yeah. Right. Now, I just from the experience uh, that I've seen, mm-hmm. it, that don't always work. And it uh, it works less off, less often 
in these days. I mean, it's, it's circumstantial. Yeah. They, wait, wait, wait. wait. Know, they, now, what I heard you say, but this is what I mean. You keep going and just get to the point. It's it's a matter of your circumstances. If your circumstances are good, then that might work out. But if the police have pulled you over and shit, they're not, that ain't going to fucking work. What I was trying to make the point of in the first place was if that is possible at all, why are people being shot? See, something's wrong with the system that we live in. Not uh, The definitions are so, I don't know, they're so well, let, far-fetched let and buried. Here. What? In, in today's age that we live in, if you have an encounter with a, with a cop, and it's like you better know that if you make some sudden moves or the interpreted moves or if you run or if you hit a cop or if you hit their car and take off uh, you're probably going to get shot you know it's your responsibility not to get shot now it's not i mean the cop has no obligation <laughs> to protect you right we we've discussed that these laws demonstrate that uh, no they're not they don't have to protect you. They're there. Well, that's a uh, that's know. a SCOTUS ruling. Yeah, and it's a right. it's a SCOTUS ruling that not enough people are aware of. And if they are aware of it, they don't take it seriously. Like uh, today, Hansel, you know, he's mocking about people ending up in jail, and it's funny until it's you. When it's you, you won't be laughing. And there's been stories after stories about uh, people being arrested for like soap that the test came back positive yeah. and they spent two months in jail waiting for it to go to trial over soap. Instead of a, you know, a well, whatever you got there, it's not working out well. A cop out here pulled some folks over, I know, and, uh, well, her by herself that one time mm. and took her laundry soap that was in a plastic bag. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Took her laundry soap. Uh, I mean, I think they make these little test kits and stuff to test different substances, but they're r ridiculous. Mm. To think that that that's, there would be somebody in that position of authority and not uh, have better sense than that. Mm. Uh, like I say, it's your responsibility to uh, uh, present the proper questions if, in, and record. Always, you always want to have a recording device. Uh, if you're doing just for your own protection, or if you want, if you're doing a First Amendment audit, yeah. so my my suggestion is don't be a smartass and uh, wow. don't be provocative. Yeah. Uh, wow. My well, encounters with cops, you know, see, I don't I don't get them all pissed off and want to. Okay, well, but all right, Vinny. Now there be, there was this one time. Uh, I here we go. <laughs> go uh, go uh, go on down memory lane with the police. No uh, no no no, I'm not even. No. No, oh. I got my ass whipped by the public. Right. See, and here where I'm at, when I, I first got here, I saw videos on the internet, uh, YouTube links, right? People were complaining, apparently, about the behavior of the police in the Copenhagen. And I would say a lot of that would have to do with the duality, having to work in Copenhagen, where, you know, and then happen be assigned to the group that has to go and invade Freetown. And that kind of distant, you know, there's two different kind of jobs. You know, one, you're just dealing with tourists and, you know, small time shit. And the other one's where all the drugs and, you know, fighting and all that kind of crap's going to go happen because it's being invaded by police. So, you know what I mean? The mindset that you must have to have to play that kind of game. I couldn't do it. Well, you can't group them all together because, you know, some people get into it. Like, well, some people become a doctor not for the money, but to help people. Some people uh, become a cop so that they can, uh, they want to help protect people. Yeah, well, the links and, that I saw were the, the, the police were in, how do you put this? They were told, I suppose, by their superiors to make good with the public. And everybody was told, you're going to be physically stopped by the cops to get a hug. And they had video of these cops just randomly hugging people to make the peace between the public and, and the 
law enforcement instead of you know? making it worse. And I'm telling you, it seems to work over here. And but when you get to Freetown, where it's they're squatters, they're not this, they're not that. It's all that legal shit. Well, then the mindset changes because they're attacking to get drugs and arrest people and all that shit, fight crap like that. See, but in the city, they're just tourists, and you make sure the shoplifting stays to a minimum. I guess stuff like that. Because I was there for eight months, and I never really saw much more than a drunk get out of control at three in the morning. In uh, Freetown or Freddie? No, no. In we we were in Novel. Fred, where? It, it was it's a neighborhood in Denmark, but in Copenhagen. But uh, Freetown is separate from Copenhagen. It's not. It's okay. it's not yeah. on the same bit of property, but there's a definite division. You cross that line, and boom, you're all of a sudden magically, see, by the code of laws that we play with, you're magically in this place where, hey, the cops shouldn't be here. they got no right to be here. We don't want them here. Do what you like, and just keep your fucking hands to yourself, and don't do no drugs. And, and they, they got their own people to enforce that. So I would really really no assume, different. yeah. But There's costumeless cops. It doesn't do matter, that. Vince. It was... The price to pay to be able to uh, smoke without being worried about it, because it, it was accepted there, so it didn't bother me. I wasn't in fear like in the city. I wouldn't sit in a fucking bar in downtown Copenhagen and light up, but I'd do it in Freetown because Where? it's accepted there. They don't care. That's not their fucking. They have no pot lives there. But across the road in in Copenhagen, you do. Yeah, it's been All right, brought about but, over many years. Of, um, okay, and this is how I see this freaking whole game, this world. So when when people want to control other people, they invade them. There you go. We'll bring guns and put, we'll just put badges on them, call them cops. We're coming to take your shit. We're stealing it from you. Stop us. And... Other people it's not call, really quite, well, quite that simple because of all, all the way that it comes about. Where that okay? Well, where it crossed this particular line, it's pretty definite. I think it's like uh, the last thing I was told: fifty-seven percent of Denmark that have a vote are for just stopping the prohibition on cannabis and leaving the hemp thing alone. But there's still forty-three percent that want it. So. Hmm. You know, that drug money, that war on drugs money is huge, Vinny. We, I couldn't count that out. I don't even know how to how they spend it. It's like, wow, that much fucking money. It's like what they give Israel, but, you know, not that much, but close. A lot. A lot. I mean, so much. You couldn't spend, if you were alone, you couldn't count it. So, why do you need it? That's a, That's for another time. But. Without that yeah, drug money, that. I wonder what that. I wonder what they use the drug, you know, the war on drugs money for. I guess to pay the crooks that, you know, enforcement crooks. Because all a, all a cop is is a crook with a license to be a crook. The fuck else could he be? He's carrying a fucking loaded weapon, threatening people. I've seen it time after freaking time. I've lived through it myself, so I know they do it from experience. But to see that. How badly some of these police treat other people is, well, one, it's embarrassing because I'm from that place, right? And the last two countries I've lived in, the cops would never act, never act like that. It, it would be wrong. <laughs> it's, it's just not the way they work. If you're breaking the freaking law, then you got a problem. If you're walking down the fucking street smoking a cigarette, nobody's going to bother you. Here... But over there, you get some cop. Eh, that guy's smoking a marijuana cigarette. I think I'll arrest him. And then it's his yeah, word all against that's yours. Changed. Now, did you ever think that it ever uh, come to a point in time where you could go buy marijuana in a store? Okay, and then again, you need to see permission. You have to be allowed. No, 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 no. What if I want to trade, you know, my uh, 
my cannabis that I want to get, I want to trade it for something else instead of currency. Then what do you do? To, uh, you know, people have tried a lot of different things, you know, silver trading, uh, silver and stuff. And the IRS, uh, if you're making lots of moving around things that are worse things, hmm. uh, they're going to come claim that uh, you have a duty to pay this. Uh, oh, I know. That's ridiculous. That's, where they'll get you. That's no. the state. No. That's pay, you pay for protection. That's what living that's what living in a society is. You're being held against your freaking will for the most part because you want to be comfortable. So it's kind of a friction thing. You're, you're stuck, but you're not stuck because you get the best of the deal. But there's just some of us got that like freedom thing. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a business, and it's. Uh based on a business model that's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years like mm. the trading companies and well see that's what I mean by ma- making a decision isn't necessarily real then is it what is what is real Vinny I'm lost I have no idea I think I lost reality where could it have gone hmm. well I, I can give you some example I think these people that go into the courts in, uh, in first hand and trying to claim, oh, you have no jurisdiction over me. I'm not this straw person and on and on and on. And they, they think they have a secret formula. And uh, guess what? They're, they're in the rest of their life in prison or, or dead. Yeah, because they so, gave up the right to be silent. Yeah, specifically. That's very I mean, true. but yeah, if you're going to ever going to go down that fucking road, don't say anything. Not one motherfucking word. Not I don't no know I nothing. It, after a while, they get bored and they'll let you go. But to be completely fucking silent because any word you say will be applied to something. So don't say nothing. There you go. There is your. Uh, uh, and then the, I guess the SCOTUS has probably got something on that too. But how could you? <clears throat> What a system. I'm glad I'm not in that game anymore. I'm telling you. I do not miss my old ex home America for some reason. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I understand that too, because when I was there, I thought the same thing. Because I, uh, I, I had it made. I might like to go to some tropical island. Hmm. Mm. That, you know, nah, I'm beyond. Nah, see, nah. I'm beyond all that. Uh, wherever the wherever the wife wants to be, she likes it here. Today was the first cold morning, and she's like a twelve year old out there. Oh, it's cold! It's freezing! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I didn't take the dog for a walk, and I'm like, oh, I'm going back to bed. It's cold. <laughs> but that's hey, that's how it works, right? I'm a I'm not like that. Way. I'm Mister Warm. I don't want to get my feet cold. Are you crazy? That could cause me problems. I'm going to check the five day. What are you talking about? Oh, the four. For what? what Yeah, it's supposed to get cold here. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, it's winter, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's almost November, two days. Which is almost. Oh, this is the 29th of uh, October. 2019, and we're at In a Perfect World with me and Vinny bantering about just a bunch of crap tonight to uh, throw a show out there, maybe make a joke or two. But you know what? I'm really interested in stuff like, you know, magnetics, oh, resonance, vibration, shit that's so small you can't see it. <laughs> All you can do is read about what other people tell you it is. And you can't see the cold necessarily. <laughs> but you can feel it. Well, I've gone to the ten day, man. I, it's gonna be cold. It's it's like getting serious about being cold around here. Hey, Vinny, would you ever I, would you ever uh, tell people something that wasn't true on purpose? Ever? Yeah. Ever? Sure. Okay. So here you are on the radio, and you have. The wherewithal to, to, to know the truth. And it would it be because you didn't know the truth, or it would it be because you're purposely misleading someone somewhere? Well, I would say there's uh, there would be 
a specific reason. It, talking about something that's not true or oh, maybe to protect to being somebody. honest. Yeah. And, sure. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So you care about people's feelings. Sometimes, and sometimes I, uh, they get really frustrated. Why? I thought because you like everybody should say whatever the fuck they want to say to whoever the fuck they want to say it to. Mister. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, thought that that was your stand. That is my stand. Say whatever you want. But to you say. just told me you would. I make up your mind. Can't see here. Here's what I think our problem is: living carbon-based life forms. Right, is, stop, wait a minute. Let me stop you right there. Wait. We wait, want it both ways. To, yes. You just because you have the right to say something doesn't mean you should. Just Wait a minute. You the, yeah. But you you, you, uh, yes, you argue with people relentlessly when mm. they say that certain people's opinions or words are abusive or beyond the fucking pale and it's time for them to be silenced. You're the first one to stand up for well, they got a right to say it. And then you just uh, said what you just said. So you can't, it can't you be cannot, both ways. You cannot, yes, yeah, maybe it's not clear or not understood what my position is. And that mm -hmm. is that you say whatever you want to, but then don't tell somebody else to shut up because you don't like what they say to you. I mean, that's just, if you engage mm -hmm. into disagreement, then mm -hmm. it's mutual. So you can't call for Oh, yeah. Well, okay. I yeah. agree with that because I, I read a lot of Do stuff. Or don't. I, don't, I don't respond to it. I just see it. Don't. And does, I, I don't give it any. See, there's the thing I was starting with. Deciding is not always real. You know, I'm just making a decision about something I'm thinking, and each of us is all thinking a different thing about the shit we're thinking. It's not in tune to any one thing. And we're supposed to be this, I don't know, collective of the sameness, and we're not. We're this collective of fucking crazy wacky shit that bounces off each other and there's a lot of friction and the heat yeah. <laughs> the heat makes people uh, react some people react better than others i think but fuck so what i mean in the end of the day you know what would uh i think they would say just forgive it you know let it go drop it because it's really easy to do that and then just bring it back up two weeks later when when it's to your advantage to do it. But, you know, if you're going to dirty play in the first fucking place, don't assume there's rules that people are following. It, you know, so I try not to do that. If somebody is in a part of my life, they can engage or not. Hmm. Uh, and there's, there's parameters that, uh, you know, have to be abided by. You don't violate certain uh, uh okay but see Vinny it's it's that the the part where they got to not engage with the aggressor okay so me and say me and you are going at it and I'm calling you names and you're calling me names back well mm -hmm. if you just stopped and ignored it I'd just be typing to myself and if you don't yeah. say anything Mutual, back yeah. eventually yeah so eventually, I got to either stop or I just look like the biggest dick that you know ever walked into real liberty media. But it's a social fucking thing. This is how we're we're encouraged to argue and fight. My gender's better than yours, and all this shit. We get invisible shit thrown at us through media, and internet, all the fucking time. You, you can't possibly be in an angry mood without a catalyst. There's something, something's going on that's making you uncomfortable. That's what the anger's about. And some of us are a little more, I don't know, a little wordy than others. <laughs> what do you think, Danny? Some people are, you know. And some people are conditioned, you know, their responses comes from being conditioned and even unknowingly um, and become defensive and, well, how do we For solve? Self, okay, what's the solution? In, okay, in a sense, what right? we know what the problem is. What's what's the solution to this? We don't get along worth the shit very much of the time thing. Don't have to. Some people, uh, they live for strife. It, you know, if you if you're that type of person too, then hey, y'all heat up and go. Oh, you got to identify it. everybody and put them in a box, right? No, you're a number somebody, three. Somebody's number actions, yeah. people's actions yeah. speak. Yeah, you are 
Not what you say you do. Huh. What, what you do, you are what you do, right? Yeah. You are what you do. And so, some things are just quite obvious, and others are a little more uh, hard to ferret out, right? What's really going on and why? And sometimes maybe you need to step back and uh, give that consideration. And if you care to continue in a relationship, whether that relationship be, uh, you know, good and beneficial for each other or, or bad and uh, self-destructive and just a way of expressing it. Maybe some people need that. As chat rooms been famous for that sort of thing, I reckon. People place to go fight. Even if the information that uh, might seem ridiculous and maybe in a certain idea that uh, some people might want to say well, the earth is flat, we've never been to the moon and um, any number of things. There is no God or uh, whatever. Say it, yeah, but don't stop thinking that your logic determines what is is. You've got to go to the how and that goes for everything you work through and you can't just go in there and just keep rearranging it and throwing it back. And that's, that's one aspect that, uh, Shaskura does. And, uh, so I guess I missed a little, uh, um, part of his conversation here, but, uh, without saying, I, I think I figured out a little bit, uh, why he's, uh, come into a rebellion in a sense and, uh, the hating God type thing. And that's because, he allows uh, definitions to by, by man to uh, um, set the parameters of what and who God is. And, yeah, de uh, to define it for him yeah. instead of him uh -huh. doing it himself. That's, yeah, well, I agree with that. Yeah, because uh, I got my that, my that, definition is different too. than yours. Yeah, and you still and and uh, you still use the book, and I use other people that use the book. I'm not really ready to be spending that much time reading it to prove it, you know, but I have found a few people that talk about this kind of the God thing and the Bible thing in a fashion where I can understand it and not be, uh, I don't feel like they're trying to impose on me and bring me into anything. They're just explaining what they see. And that's all. It's a really hard thing to do. You know what I mean? To explain to other people how you see something, Without them following, you know, following what you're saying and feeling some kind of trap to it, like you leading them somewhere. I don't care for that. I like just a, a good personal opinion, and it's not the easiest thing to give. Well, I think it's important to understand that uh, religion, and no matter what uh, what faith or denomination <laughs> or uh, name you use to call God, it's been the manipulator for a very long time. For um, doctrines, especially definitions and terminology of uh, what is is, whether, whether it be death and hell or the soul and spirit and so forth and so on. Um, uh, and then also the certain code that, that has to be adhered to or you're a, a heretic. Still are. Yeah. I mean, there's a whole, there's a whole lot more people that claim. Let's use the word claim, because I gotta say, in my lifetime, I have met more people that don't claim to believe in a religion than I have that do claim a religion. But I've met a lot of people that just use the thing. They they don't follow it in a traditional fashion. Right, so I've never really picked a road about what what to do, and it's like still open territory to me. It could be real, it could be bullshit. I'm not really sure, but so far what I've seen of it, I don't buy it. But the morals and the the like the the metaphors are kind of interesting, and I think people have been conditioned to take a book to a level of reality that uh, it's subjective, you know. And if it's subjective, then there's going to be trouble. 
Well, there's layer upon layer, and it's, there's no uh, secret codes that uh, to decipher, you know, on that process. Well, maybe there's it. okay. May, I disagree, and I think there's a recipe, and I think the recipe would involve all the things that have been prohibited over the, our lifetimes, and the things that need to go, or all the things that have been uh, pushed on us and forced on us, and it, clear the field. Yeah. But we don't. We'll never get that kind of cooperation. We're finished as far as a culture and a life form. This is just gonna drag on down the road. And I don't know. Maybe these idiots will just kill each other all off. But in the meantime, you know, we have these entertaining stories about wars and politics and uh, movies and TV shows to keep us entertained and all that kind of crap. And then, because the real the real life is just comfortable and quiet. And that's not right. that's not enough for most people. A lot of the RLM people like Rob and Grim and Mary, you know, people I'm closer to, I, I would say they're they're satisfied with that. Their little bit of space and you know, their comfort. And some people want more than they got, and that makes you different. You know, greedy people are aggressive. Yeah. Or they at least they got to pretend to be aggressive so they can accumulate shit, hoard it, put it in their basement. I'll, I'm going to respond here to Slim Jim Slim. Oh. What, do you, what do you think about the Baptist? Um, different uh, denominations, I think, have uh, um, different uh, positions where they work harder at. Now, the Baptist, even just by their very name, uh, is to get you get you wet. And uh, when you talk about fellowship as a Baptist, it means to get together in, uh, for some good grub and potluck. Uh, other churches do potlucks. Is, um, this good. You know, they, you could say, uh, you might have heard maybe uh, you can tell a Baptist parking lot by the cigarette butts. <laughs> Park, parking lot, you know. I, to what degree? I mean, um, harm. To another is the main thing that you're uh, uh, and not going against the and like I said this isn't the line you cross but a direction you're going not going against what is right and good which is God in the sense that it's a, you know this point that you can never be but you want to go in that direction and you can't just like have a, an epiphany you can small right. steps that have an epiphany but it's not like a, a flip of a switch and you're boom. Oh, I'm there. You know, it's a continual journey of, uh, you know, mistakes and uh, yeah, you, you people make mistakes. If you keep uh, keep continuing, like if you're a bad person, hmm. you're just not you're not going to get good by doing bad. Well, so why would you call that a mistake? Badder. Wait a minute. How, how do you call that a mistake, being bad? Well, no. And what is no, being no, bad no, no, anyway? No, no, no. All right, let me try it again. Then. All right. So, no, if if you're doing wrong things, if you're causing harm. Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. But if you make a mistake, you know, it's like, or if you're like. Like uh, what? What blow kind up of mistake? Emotion. Oh, if uh, if you choose not to tell uh, uh, somebody that uh, they said, that, how do uh, I look in this, in these pants and. You, you just, <laughs> oh, yeah, but then uh, they get out there and they find out that, uh, uh, no, those pants look ridiculous. You know, uh, nobody with a butt like that wears stripes. Ah, okay. All right, Babe Ruth. I don't know. I'm just making I'm just making something up. All right, Babe Ruth. I got it. Since, and? Yeah, we've used this analogy before, so I kind of had to go with that. Yeah, just, but. Uh, yeah, does it make your butt look big? I don't know. I don't think. But, it, no, that's. That's like the little thing, right? But then uh, maybe, uh, oh, what would be another example? Uh, you go over and uh, kick the piss out of uh, your neighbor for uh, some uh, actions that maybe he'd be doing, uh, which y'all wouldn't get along with. And then you can maybe come find out, well, I was wrong. Maybe. Was I? Yeah, could be. But... That would be like a mistake, right, on the extreme. Like, I know that SOB stole my whatever, and you went up there and whipped the tarnation out of them. 
because you know these. You know these have been the one to steal it, right? Who else would have stolen? I don't know. Well, I'm just using an example. I guess. Okay. I'm, did I look like Sherlock Holmes? Uh, I'm not. Well, I, I had to, at one time, gone out west and uh, let somebody I know stay at the uh, landman and uh, keep an eye on things. Uh, well, uh, he helped himself for the things that I had intended him to be there to uh, keep an eye on. But anyway, uh, I come back from California and there was something else that come gone and I just give them a, a good thrashing. Hey, you know. I just came up with a good title for the show tonight. Yeah? Yep, because I was not listening to you talk. You know what, it, what, what I came up with? Tim. <clears throat> America has more Jews in power than Israel does. Hmm. Did we talk about that? I don't know. We've talked about, you know what, and that's the funny thing. We've talked about so much stuff, who knows. But it's yeah, worth, it's, it, this is definitely true, though. And it's not a good thing. A lot of people would call that a good thing. They'd go, well, that's better than the Arabs. No, it's not. It's still the same fucking thing. That's like, it's like comparing Texas to Louisiana to a foreigner. Well, you know the difference? wait a minute. I, Wait a minute. I, but, no, I got to stop you on it. You what? know the difference? You know the difference between a South Texan and a, a Louisiana <laughs> down there where they meet up on the border all the way down south? It's a Sabine River, mister. Better know. What's that? Lafayette is a little town, a little, uh, where LSU is. So, LSU's in Baton Rouge. That's it, Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. That's okay. right. Well, it's not yeah. a very big state, but it's been a many years since, it's pretty I was, big. since I was there. Yeah. It takes a long time uh, to get from Monroe down to Nolan. Still, ah, it's not that uh, bad. Not as bad know, as drive. got a better highway than 49, the interstate. Used to, you'd go, uh, what was it, uh, two or one? And, and Highway 7, I forget. It was a long time ago. I, I drove it before they had that interstate. Good. Well, Back and forth. I also been reading that California's got like 11 million fires going on. And How freezing. How is there anything left to burn? I don't know. And freezing rain or freezing uh, temperatures at the same time in the LA. I don't know. It's the internet. You could be reading anything. It, these people are talented, man. The brain I'm going to be getting it. <laughs> yeah, I broke, I broke out my, my coveralls. I'm going to be getting them on. Oh, it is getting breezy then, hey. But no, I mean for the weather outside. Of, uh, that I think project going. I think we should promote the social trap and encourage people to vote for their favorite politicians and send them all their money. No, that's what they do. That's what they like. That's that's how you get popular, Vincent. 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 It's a. It, you're a pit bull at a beauty contest. Let me tell you, sport. You, right. You got to be all like, you know, hey, I want to be Donald Trump's favorite ball washer. Uh, and I then pe golf. people will like you. I don't golf. They'll like you, though. Listen, this is what I was trying to say. Just because mm. you got the right to put the car out of somebody, and they, yeah. even if they deserve it, mm. don't mean you necessarily ought to. Why not? This, this, maybe it's a mistake. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe, maybe you know, even if it ain't, maybe it still could be. Maybe you're just a control freak and you're trying to control everything around you and not just let the world do what it does. And when it, claim it. When it has, and, and when it all has the to time, do with my world, yes. yeah, I, I, I believe, yeah, I want to take a, a hand in shaping what, uh, what that is around me and hmm. what I, yeah, what I, I think that's what we all have an obligation to do, right? I mean, like when you're out amongst your peers, right? If you see yeah. a wrong, yeah. If you, if you, why do you assume that all the time? Too, if you Ooh. seen that somebody snatching an old lady's purse, mm -hmm. and he would come running towards you trying to escape, would mm -hmm. you, stiff, wouldn't you stiff arm him or well, trip him? I think, or kick him in his uh, chin, something. I think where I live, 
there it would be an ignorant thing to do. There's no people would be like, <laughs> whoops, kick, kick, kick. No, never seen it here either. So it's a very peaceful where I live. Man. It's like, uh, just, I don't know. Heaven. Well, no, I'm in heaven. I'm in a uh, like a uh, retired I'm in a retirement village with a with a teenage workforce to keep it operating, you know, so that the old people are comfortable. Well, I'm that, looking. That uh, stopped you. Hmm. I'm uh, over here. I'm looking on the map. You know, Greenland has like they. Their time is like different somehow. They don't like keep up with some. And then there's other there ones. We go. Like, it's not even on the minute. <laughs> it's like they're like 20 minutes or 30 minutes off or something. Somewhere. I don't know. It's all man made, yeah. Vincent. I mean, what do you think? Some, well, some guy one day time. sat down and said, you know what? I think it's 12 o'clock right now. What? What? Based on what? I said so. Because this is what I got. And everybody you else is right doing it. In? Uh, Iceland. So uh, yeah. I don't know what you know what it is that I'm doing that's uh, any different than anybody else. But, this time thing is really a big pain in the balls. I don't like it. I tell I tell my wife that all the time. She just tells me to go back, go back and kick the TV again. You should like it. Ah, uh, no, she gave up on trying to get me to like it. Really? Hmm. Yeah, you well, we're look, Vinny, we're in an open air prison, okay? It, at the very right. at the very worst, okay, we live, you know, in society in these open air prisons. And the way that you know you're in the, the prison is you'll see law enforcement around to keep you in line. See? That's the whole point. And where we're from, well, where I'm from, wasn't like that until the late eighteen what's 50s or so, they started it in the East Coast. Law enforcement because of the gangs. See, gangs were doing this and gangs were doing that. So they just made a new gang of cops to fight the other gang of bad guys. So it's still the same shit. What the fuck? How can you see it any different? Hey, I'm going to go get me a job kicking the shit out of people way of life. Okay, or as opposed to, I'm going to be a mugger. You know, uh, take your pick. It's still the fucking same thing. Cop, mugger. One's just as bad as the other. The good I thing was, about I the was, cop man. is you can see the cop coming. Do, 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 do. Okay, what? Oh, I was thinking about being a highwayman instead. What is that? Well, you mean like a robber yeah. guy? Yeah, okay. the old days. Whoa. Was, yeah. Would you have done that? No. You just brought it up. Yeah. Wow. You were so talking about being a. You were talking about that. Ooh, but Denmark. They used, Grimner, see, they used to have robber bears. Grimner says, but Denmark has better looking women. Well, better yeah. looking than than where I guess maybe New Mexico. But I I was in New Mexico a few times. <laughs> Whoa, man. Okay. American girls. Uh, Women's is women's is women's, but they do yeah. Well, they do have a lot of. Uh, they're, they're, well, it depends on the person looking on's taste is part of it too, and I think Grim buys me. He leans toward the Nordic, and they got that uh, pointy kind of like chiseled, pale white. You know, they're small, small nosed. They're not big Jew nosed women. <laughs> Sark was a blonde haired child too. I see pictures I got pictures of her when she was a little girl. <laughs> and now she's a brunette, but she was a blonde child. Um my cousin, Texas, he's uh when he was a little boy he was blonde. His son, he was blonde headed too, then their hair turned dark because they got older. Yeah, I was Some born do that. I was born with blue eyes and they turned. My mother really? had, yeah, my mother had blue eyes. My father had brown eyes. But Momsy, nope. But yeah, that's what they, they told me. I don't remember it. Well, a lot of babies are born with blue eyes. 
you know, just this little little tiny infants coming into the world. Yeah. Get the color. Just like him making me right handed instead of letting me be left handed. Control, control, control. That the devil. Yeah, that was uh, that was a big thing that happened often. Uh, people didn't understand the left handedness. You know, of some people. Well, they see, made I, their kids right right handed. I can sit here in front of the computer today, yeah, and I can use the mouse left handed, and not not thinking about it, I just grab it because it's closer to my left hand at the time. And I mm-hmm. would say it's, and I realized it later than, hey, what am I doing here? Oh, because I would have been left-handed once upon a time. I think my brain still knows it. Because there's some things that I'm pretty good at, but I can't do them left-handed. But I can do them right-handed. Now, when I was at Ford Motor Company, I had this, uh, had a job on the line installing the rear quarter panel on the T-Bird. And I was on the driver's side, so I'm on the left side. And I'm right-handed. So what I learned how to do was to do the job left-handed hmm. instead of right-handed. And it was after you know, a couple of hours, it was like, oh. Because I was young and flexible. And uh, I took the advice of the people that were out, you know, working with me. If they, you know, said, hey, try this, I would go, yeah, sure, I'll try that. Because if they, why would they tell me if it wasn't going to work? We're working together, so, you know, there's that honesty thing going on. Are you ready? I don't know. There it is. Bam. I was what just, uh, oh, I'm it? I, it's four, hey, four four twenty nine time. Fire in the hole down under. Anyway, Shut so. Up. Orange, I'll show you. Oh, How my. big are the California fires? Rums posted a link about the fires. Should we put that in the notes for the show, or what do you think? Mm, we didn't really talk about it no. a little bit. I, I can tell you about Santa Ana winds. You probably know about them, don't Oh, you? I lived in L.A. for a long time, mm. pal. That, it's beside that. I haven't lived there in in uh, since 2002. So I haven't even been there in 17 years. I've, I was uh, I was out in like been a while. I was out in the valley, but I did go to L.A. a couple of times, every month or so. Either, well, you know, yeah. I was in 2017 up in Reading, and then then they had the big fires that blew through there. We went up in the mountains, and um, that it's just like gone all of that. Um, all right, the I five mountains and forests are burnt. Yeah, my friend Coy out there. Up on I five, for long, long time. No, up into the mountains, into the Sierras. Yeah, but it was down at Redding. You know, it even Redding goes. The yeah, or I five river. goes right through Redding. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, in the mountains is where you know it blew up, it blew through Redding, and uh, hmm. I forget that other little town around there. No, I or, haven't been out there in oh. so many years, Vinny. No, uh, that's part of my past. But eh. I, I went up uh, to the uh, Pacific Crest Trail up there, man. Uh, me and my friend, we went up there into the Sierras, up the property where well, we couldn't get down to it because the road had been washed out way back in the mountains, but it's all burnt. The land, He had like, I forget how many, how many acres, a lot of land back there, but he had moved back down into the uh, uh, to the city mm. for working and stuff, uh, him and his wife, he and his wife. Yeah. Just, we got down part way and uh, way out in there and stuff, and then uh, he, you know, he took pictures and showed me. And like cars and stuff just melted into the, on the road, right into the road, just mm-hmm. burnt down. Some people live. They got down in the uh, went down the mountain into the uh, the creeks, like and escaped the uh, flames. Yeah, that stuff moves fast. Uh, and that goes into a lot of what's going on. And what I've been covering is uh, the war out west and the. Center for Biological Diversity. They're uh, supposedly trying to protect uh, species from uh, going extinct. But uh, really, it's uh, it's a political ploy. Uh, there's uh, they're stalking horses. You know, it's uh, they're they're hiding in behind that that's a false front. Get the statue out there or the uh, silhouette that he's uh, sneaking up. Boom! Gonna shoot you. What are you drinking? Tea? 
No, I was putting my pipe in the ashtray. No. Salute. Am I interrupting you, sir? No. You sure? I'm black mountain. Because, you know, representation is everything. You know, I think what, what, uh, what does the future hold for you, Vinny? Anything special? Oh, Cirque's got a birthday coming up in about two weeks. The 11th so what's the day? of November. Remember, remember. Uh, the 11th of November. Uh, there's a few birthdays coming up. I heard Grimm speaking about it. I haven't listened to the uh, leftovers yet. <laughs> I cut but out. On, uh, on the Freakers, Bali was mentioning a few folks that had birthdays coming up. I believe. Just saying. Mm. Yeah, people yeah. like to be recognized on the birthday. Yes, absolutely. You know, I got a lot of birthday wishes here. Real Liberty Me. I see, and it's all part of our programming. You know? uh-huh. Why why is it why do we care? Because I don't we wanna mm. most people wanna have meaning to the last and uh well people for people to know they're alive and uh, you know, this part of being human. We want to have connection to one another and lift one another up. Sometimes. What, what do you sometimes want to you do? Kind of slap them down. Oh, here we go. See, no, th- no, there you not. go. We're, we're, not, we're not going there. Not you just going. said. Well, it was mere mention, sir. Make up your mind. No, no, no. I can't do it. Okay. Not going to do it. Oh. So I get that tortoise that know that. Oh, uh, was yeah. it the buzzard? Uh, yeah, the buzzard. Uh, yep. Boom. You know the rest. Yeah. B. <laughs> be all you can be. Sir. Well, I think tonight's show is going to be titled. Is it right? Title here. The proof is in. The performance. That's a good one. I have yeah. no idea why, but I, I like that line. I, I like it. And, well, that was your line. And more my version of your... You of your I like the way you okay. said it better. Oh, okay. I, oh, I there like you it. go. I hope you I said it better. better. Ay, ay, ay. No, Vinny, it's just different. Better and worse is... Uh, See, that's what part of this conditioning shit and the scaling and the weighing and the balancing. For what? You like something. Eh, there you go. Enough. Eh. But we got to go a little further. Ooh. And I think that the proof is in the performance. People, whatever the hell that means. High <laughs> performance. Uh, ah, duh cool. has Literally. something to say to you there on the main feed at uh, on RLM, I think you what should address it. Non-makeable? <laughs> I don't My know. mind is non-makeable. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, make up <laughs> Yeah, you said it is make upable, Rod. Yeah, they're just teasing Rob, Rob works. Yeah. Just dud, yeah. Rob, giving you a hard time. Nothing important. Yeah, you but, have to make up your mind. I like that. It is make upable. My mind uh, is make upable. Why make up my mind? Do you? That's that's what life is is decision. Oh, and that going back to well, sometimes we make bad decisions, make mistakes. You know, sometimes you just go out. Bad and decision. Wrong. Wait a minute, you said hey. bad decisions. Sure. You never made any bad decisions. Me? Oh no. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, no, because everything I've done to this moment has. Uh, I've survived it all. So if you change anything, then maybe uh, the path that went down, I could have ended sooner. But because yeah, of, I, you know, I think that myself. Because yeah. of the choices that I've made, or so I think I've made, right? It's my illusion. I'm going to live it my way. <laughs> but, you know, this idea that I'm doing what I, the things that I want to do, that kind of mentality. Brings me the the things in life, I suppose, whatever that is. But I'm just existing on Earth, just like everybody else. Less. That's what we do. And we die. I, I try just to uh, not get let my judgments get too carried away with shit, though. 
No. Well, I'm a. Uh, uh, I don't. Look at the the Libra, you know the the scales. They really kind of applies to me pretty good, I think. I've been that way my whole life. Uh oh. Well, then I'm going to call the portion then the, for the notes. Making mistakes is a bigger thing than you think. I don't know about that. Well, I don't Maybe care what not. you th- well, You might not even think it. Maybe you don't even know it. Well, you you do all the dialogue. I was just telling you the note that I made to reference this part of the show, you big baby. Well, I'm just <laughs> smacking, I'm smacking you back. I, I wasn't smacking you, baby. No, like like little sugar. Oh, like, hey, out Merrill, loud. Uh, yeah. Well, as long as you, you know, as long as you go to Derby, you'll always be uh, in England, I suppose, because that's where you know, Derby I, is. Where I'm thinking of at the moment. In, in England. Yeah, where where uh, Robin Hood and his merry men, all that stuff came from. That area is Nottingham. And you know, Derby English is a, a little, like a little village right there. Uh, Had the second oldest bar on the, in the English country. And it, I was too tall to walk through the doorway. Really? Yeah, because in those days, people were a lot smaller. Like and there Robin. was a lot less of us. Well, there was also a lot less people, too. And less traveling and less this and less that. So... Yeah, less less nutrition and it caused the people to become smaller. There's also points in history where uh, people were quite large yeah. to giant proportions. Well, oh, where? Because I must have missed that that movie. Really? Yeah. Oh, you should. You can find it. Do, do I don't want to look. look. Wait, I'm not. Giant, this, no. YouTube. Go to YouTube and just uh, giant skeletons in America. Look at. Uh, Mound builders and stuff like that. Red giants. Yeah, but I've grown up with all this fossil fuel story shit and, you know, uh, crap. Uh, Oh, way back to Grib Flash. I was responded to Does Comment Denmark has better looking women than Louisiana. Yeah, I saw that. uh, I don't know that I could say that. I can't. Yeah, wow. No. Well, that's okay, but that's Grib. But. But see, he's got that, that, so I mean, he's very specific about his interest in the Nordic, just by his fucking name. Vinny. So you got to go, wow, he goes that extra step where he's, he's visually seeing something more appealing about the, these people that he's impressed with. I understand that. And that's the good side of being a racist, I think, because you can't judge that. By anything other than, hey, look at the race of these people, and then you you look at their race and you see what's attractive about it. And usually with the Scandinavians, it's the females. I guess to the guy, and then you know to the girl, they see those guys with the fucking big axes and shit. Yeah. I saw a Swedish guy jump into a fucking frozen frozen water to go save an animal. <clears throat> okay. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Just the nut to do that. But the animal was going to die. It was trapped in the freaking ice. So the guy went... <laughs> rest kind of animal? I don't remember. Some kind of fucking animal. It was a video on uh, YouTube. I, I, but, I hope it wasn't a seal. No, no. It was something that was... It was a land animal got, got cracked the ice and fell in the fucking water. And it got trapped. So the guy went to through the ice and went and saved it. But I didn't keep it. It was a while ago. Anyway, the point still remains that these Nordic people have a an appeal to them to a certain other kind of people. You obviously don't share it. I must. <laughs> I hear. Are you doing a psychoanalysis? No, I'm doing a, a Denmark analysis, a Dan- Dan- a Viking analysis. Are all Danes Vikings? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're yeah. These people are tough. So are you like really a, a small person then? Oh, you're talking like some kind of size crap. I'm talking about yeah. uh, fuck you and your size. Everybody's big to me, Vinny. What, what are you the, talking about? Where the, the Vikings are 
weren't you saying they're like known for being big or not? No, or are you I just say I are you just yeah, calling you're big asking, <laughs> you're asking me if I couldn't answer that question. I don't know. What's Everybody's odd, fucking anyway. big to me, you you monkey. What part of that what, don't you get? What is an ot uh, ot anyway? O T. What is an ot? Ot. Yeah. Why do you ask me? What is it? Well, I'll, what does it mean? An ot. You said, didn't you say something about a big ot? <laughs> a big <laughs> asshole. Oh. Okay, so the next area of our conversation is Viking, a Viking analysis and bigots. Okay. So How about if we, we 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 titled the cruise line? Yeah, Viking cruise lines. I think it's already been done. Oh, it has. Has it? Is so, there yeah, a Viking I, cruise line, sir? She doesn't know. She'd know if there was one. I would tell you that. Yeah, but they probably just be all floating yeah. around on the water and stuff. I mean, they don't actually go out there and rape, uh, kill, and plunder. What all they do? What did the Vikings do? Back, I don't fucking know. I know what they do now. Rob, they don't do much. Not our Rob. Rob and plunder. Now it's all done by bankers. Right. Yeah. So I mean, you could be a little guy and do it. You don't even need a sword. You could even be a girl and do it. You just need a pin for you. Just yeah, or a you know, or a password. <laughs> a password, a pen, uh, or a password. I, you what? You're ignoring me now. <laughs> yes, B I G O T. Big it. Hey, Big I, what did you do to my computer? Hey, stop See, like it. if your name was. Uh, if your name was Otto, <laughs> no, yeah. no, you, no, yeah, no, no, you could be no. like, yes, yeah, so I'm hanging no. in the hood. Yeah, uh, right. Can you talk? Do it like you got to do it like a German, though. I see, God, I, I'm, why I'm would I do? I'm, I'm, I'm not in oh, Germany. Oh, oh, I'm in oh, Denmark. Oh, you, Denmark, you, oh, you oh, American. Oh, you talk like German sometimes. No. I do. Oh, that's Russian. No, no, is it? Huh. Vinny's being a sarcastic butt nugget now. There it is. Sarcastic you butt nugget. Uh, delivered Viking cruises. Yeah, yeah, Rob works close to Viking Cruises. Voted number one by travel, leisure, and oceans and rivers. Ooh, how nice. Viking Yeah, but do you ocean get a ship sailing? Yeah. Do you like get to burn any docks or ports or get to burn rigs. any what? Yeah, you know, raise the city. Why would I want to do that? I'm a Viking, a... man. This is Viking stuff here. Yeah, well, you're talking about Columbus, too. And he never set foot on even America. He was just down there torching these islands. Rape, a little pillage, burning, still a little bit of gold. Go back and claim America. wonder why they wrote it that way. wonder what purpose that served. He didn't get any gold down there in the islands, in the... No, I went. He, he ended up with the. Never mind. Anyway, he didn't. Now he made more than one trip out that way, buddy. And believe me, they didn't do it for fun. They did it for what gold and pussy. Getting, uh, gold and pussy. Well, Cortez. Don't you understand, Cortez. son? The what? Carib, the Caribs. I think is that you. What does the world? The that was there. Vin, they were, Vin, Vin, no more. What? Wiped out. Look at what they're trying to stop the world from running on. Golden pussy. They don't want it to run on that. That works too good for people because when you live in that golden pussy lifestyle, well, you're out there, you're creating an, an income and a disturbance in the shit. You know? And as you get older, you fall out of that crap and you let the younger kids take up. But they're not chasing golden pussy anymore. Now there's splinter groups chasing weirder shit. Well, Bitcoin, I, and, you know, I guess it's and I'm going to marry a sheep and name it Bob, you know, shit like that. You know, the, a lot of reasons that might be happening, I guess. <laughs> Are you promoting? <laughs> no. But promoting I, sheep marriage. Wow. Uh, yeah, I was really, uh, it just blew my mind. I was up in Maine hmm. years and years ago, yeah. and, a, and there was a new story come on. That this feller uh, was so enamored with his dog that he wanted to uh, marry it. 
And it, so they got to the descriptive part of his relations with this dog, and I'm like, wait a what? minute, I don't they're want talking to know. about this on You're... main. Yes, uh, the the yes wow. the news. And I'm like, and then they say, well, it's not illegal. Wow. To, I yeah. got it. Thank you, Vinny. That was wow. disturbing. True story. That was disturbing on uh-huh. four levels of reality. On my yeah, real so on too. my reality scale, I give that up. Listen, I, I want to tell you when I when I first went out to Southern Cal as a, a, a young grown up <laughs> yeah. uh, young me younger me I, and heard the shock jocks out there, I was like my jaw dropped. I said, "Wow!" I said, "If if we was in the South, they'd been kicking that door in and hauling them boys off to jail, no doubt." And then, of course, it ain't long it goes across the country, and that was like. You know, what do you call it? The Howard Stern type of thing. What about Don Imus? What about Don Imus was pretty good, too. Oh, I never listened to him. I know Imus in the morning. I remember hearing that name. He got he got booted off the public radio for calling a girls basketball team a bunch of nappy headed hoes. And then he got a serious contract right after that. So. Yeah, he he got punished. That serious all, uh, uh, did they ever? I don't kind know. Of fizzled, didn't it? Or did I don't it, know, or but I'm just saying. Took it, over corporate I, time. I've been in I've been in uh, Scotland and Denmark for like eight years, Benny. I don't know what became of all that stuff. Back Are you then. serious? Yeah. Sure. Sure. I'm telling you, how little bit of American news I get is unbelievable. The only stuff I really know is what you guys talk about or what's maybe on BitChute if I open it. But I don't open that much because I really don't care. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't affect me about nothing. None of this shit. War on drugs, war on me, war on this. War on war. Keep up the fight. War, war. Keep up the fight, you chumps. You, you're doing just fine. You're falling right into the hole that you dig it. Sad. It's sad to watch it too, but yeah. pretty mm-hmm. sad. Well, it's a collective of a lot of different countries falling the same shit under the guise of difference, and now nah, they're they're getting what they want from you. They'll tell you who your enemies are, motherfucker. You don't have to ask. I I bet mm. because uh, it's kind of what a government's for. I mean, if the government didn't tell you who to hate, you'd wake up in the morning not hating anyone, and it would be like, oh, okay. But no, what did they do? They say, oh, this country is responsible for this problem, and they just tell you a story that's most of the time just a lot of crap. Well, and then. Life goes on. <laughs> a lot of crap, people. That's that's what we get. And they say, well, you get what you pay for. Ah, that's uh, that's a good excuse because that's not always true. You don't always get what you pay for. You get what you get. And sometimes you you get uh, promised shit. Now here here's my beef with Trump. You get promised shit, and then you say, hey, wait a minute, you told me you were going to do this, and you were going to do that, and you didn't do this, and you didn't do that. That's the president of the United States, the the bankruptcy king. But, of course, not a personal bankruptcy. This is his his claim to fame on that one. For all you (laughs) Trumpsters out there, I don't think that Trumpsters would like money. My brand of radio, or Vinny's for all that's real. Well, some of them would probably lean, maybe not. <coughs> I don't know which way a, a gun-loving American rebel, which way would they lean? Democrat or Republican on a political scale? And then I'm judge. see, this is how judgment works. I mean, to take a little walk down judgment row. <laughs> See where we end up, folks, because, you know, there's shit you got to judge, like traffic when you're driving or, you know, the sidewalk when you're walking, you know, step in the shit or step on a little kid or something. 
Everything okay, hey. Vinny? Are you all right? That, that was yeah, my little brother. He called me. Oh, back. hey, called me little back brother. After the top that, yeah, he's uh, doing our genealogy and uh, he's got a lot <laughs> of good work done. And <laughs> that's a project we're going to put that back up on the revise the one I already did and the one he did on the internet. But <laughs> he told me he told me that uh, uh, we're related to Michelle Obama that her uh, great great grandmother name was Alice Easley. I just found that out just now. So, Ouch. Yeah. Huh. Who knew? I I'm gonna have to go take a look on the his they internet just bought a, yeah, they just bought a few acres in uh, Martha's Vineyard. Maybe you can go stay the stay there for a while. <laughs> 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 oh my! Hello, are oh, you there? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I'm looking. Hey, it up. what what has Uncle Trump done anything exciting recently? He's everybody's quiet about Trump. Haven't heard much. I don't know. He hasn't taken over anything or bombed I anyone. Why? Wow. Oh, you don't know. Here it is. Man. There it is. I thought you I were the it. guy that I, knew I, shit. I don't care about Trump. Yeah, you do. I do not. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I do. Uh, I care a lot about him. Whoops. Get out of there. I what care so much uh, about him. I, hey, I care so much about him that I'm asking about him. How, how is oh, he? I don't care. I'm over here looking at... Uh, how, how, do, how, is, how, is his, how about his wife? How do you think How do you think she's doing? I don't... You know what? I uh, Honestly, I don't know which one is his wife and which one is his daughter. And I'm not <laughs> sure he, he does either, uh, honestly. So. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you're mean. Oh, you are a very mean man. I, I do not want to argue with you, sir. You will hurt my feelings and make me cry. <laughs> uh, live on the radio. Oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Huh? What do you think of that? Boo-hoo-hoo. Huh? Hey, you know what? Huh. I think I think all this evolution stuff they talk about, I think it's all like done in it's done in a way they lie about doing it, so you don't know they're doing it. Like inoculations. You ever read the ingredients of some of these inoculations? You know what I like to see people do. I like to see the CEOs of these inoculation firms sit down on and get on a video and inoculate themselves with their shit because it's harmless. <laughs> it's just going to do a job. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> hey, bring out your kids and shove this shit in them first, and then then we'll talk. <laughs> but. We I, live. I've got this. I Wait a minute. It. I was on a rant. They're about to be go, go, go. dead. <laughs> I'm kidding, Vinny. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know. I know. You were busy Did doing I had, something. <laughs> I had a cousin. What? Oh, now that you're friend. all related to the old father. Yes. It's, let me read a little short piece of it. It says, Mariah and yeah. Bolus Easley, who settled <laughs> with... Melvina, Melvinia <laughs> is her name, and it kind of sounds clutch. What's Trump's, was his daughter or his last name? What's her name? Isn't it Melvina or something like that? <laughs> well, any, anyways, they settled in Barton County. That's near the Alabama border. And uh, Adolphus married one of the Easley's daughters, Alice, who is Mrs. Obama's great-great-grandmother. Yeah, yeah. I, maybe I get royalty checks or something, right? Uh, I don't know. Reparations. I didn't know you That's were a slave. Vinny's a freaking slave, a, a black slave on top of it. Hey, cool. No. Oh, no, how I, did you get so fucking white? Privilege, my friend. Privilege. Oh, do you do you flaunt your white privilege? Is it like I a get out of jail free card? No, if you don't carry it, you wear it. You wear it? Yeah. yeah, but you know what? These people here are so pasty white, they don't even notice me. Uh, I am just a white amongst a bunch of whites. This looks like a pretty uh, interesting story. Hey, I want to flaunt my white privilege somewhere, fucker. 
How come you get to do it and I don't get to do it? That's not fair, Vinny. I, you're related to Mrs. Obama. That's well, right. my, I wait a minute. I thought it was my. I want to. Whatever. Listen, this is my cousin. <laughs> I'll ask you. You have a little respect. The crass dresser. The crass dresser in the damn um, redneck family is black too. <laughs> Oh, you know, I don't know that. if Alice was black or uh, <laughs> white here. Yeah. Cause, uh, okay, Michelle, Schrodinger's cousin. <laughs> that, that, well, I mean, she's obviously, uh, there's white. And like Obama, he's like, what, half white, right? <laughs> I don't know. I never knew him. Well, there it is. I put it in there. I had that. Uh, Duck called me the eggplant. <laughs> uh, eggplant. Oh. That was from the video from uh, uh, True Romance. Oh. Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah. I don't know and how the to one spell guy. it. But it didn't come I'm up I'm talking as well. to yeah. I. Yeah, Tarantino. You're, you're eggplant. Yeah. 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 Well, you just gave me a great one for the notes, Mr. You're a cantaloupe. Yeah, but Schrodinger's cousin. <laughs> both, dead really and, exist? both dead and alive at the exact same time. <laughs> yeah, the cat in the box, you know, Schrodinger's cat. Yes. Same thing. Cousin. Dead or alive. Well, it's like you. You're, you're both you're dead and alive at the same time. <laughs> it just depends on what you're talking about. I guess. Dolphus married one of the Easley's daughters, Alice, who is Mrs. Obama's great great grandmother. See? Yeah. Who you is? say I don't pay attention, you big baby. I just found out. I was I know you did. I was here when it happened. But now I'm calling you Schrodinger's cousin. <laughs> is he related to Michelle? Sorry? Mrs. Obama I'm I'm I mean. <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Huh? I have huh? no idea. Huh? You got a link? <laughs> I did it right there. Wait a minute. Right where? Oh, okay. I'll copy that. Put it in the notes. <laughs> I'm related to Michelle Obama. <laughs> what a thing to be bragging about. <laughs> hey. Oh, cool, look at them. Happy yeah. I would. I would like to send her a nice card now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Vinny. Man, we could go hang in Chicago, like, <laughs> ride the L, all that cool stuff. Really? That would be great, yeah. Ah, okay, Vinny, you say so. Go to the bathhouses, I guess. That's wow. What they, that's what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be asked or I would have researched it. <laughs> Checked up on this shit first before we went live. I don't like to be unarmed in an argument. Well, hey, did you know that anything with a price isn't free? Mm, mm, mm. Did you know that? You know, what? you know, in uh, Rome's, I think it brought this up. Uh, free sells more than anything. Ah. It's a, the driver sells free. Yeah. Ah, okay. I believe you, but I'm a well-trained voter, just like you, Vinny. I do everything right. I'm told to, and only a couple things I'm told not to. I told the judge I registered to vote. He knew I was a filming. He said, you better run. You better not vote. He was serious about it. That's big business right there, man. You cannot do it. Oh, well, it's not right or wrong. It's different. See? Well, I didn't do it. I said, yes, sir. Thank you. That's I just, vote. I've made I a ruling. Vote for you, your honor. Hey. Well, I, well yeah. Paul, son, I appreciate that. That's pretty kind of you. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 you yeah. Well, I, I can see that your personal evolution is under control. You're not going to get, you know, you're not going to evolve into the next layer of being too soon. Right? Grunty? Next, the next what? Next layer of whatever we're becoming. You mean devolving into? Well, I don't think we're devolving. I think How some of us... Evolve? How can you evolve? It's, I guess it would just be a matter of growing into something. Let's say that you had a computer right here in front of you. It's yeah. blank. Yeah. 
Good. Can it create its own information? Maybe. Can it evolve? Of course. I'm not just without, not without input. I just said it could. Well, you asked me, and I said it could. So what? what and, 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 and. <laughs> I give hey, it permission. It, hey, it's not. I'm not stopping it. <laughs> Do you remember the old co- uh, copiers? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But, you know, people would like take their butt mm-hmm. and shots and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, listen, if you take a, a, a original document and make a copy of it, and then you make a copy of the copy, and a copy of the copy of the copy, and so on. And so forth, you end up with a black sheet of paper because there's less and less information available each time it's transferred or moved down. And it's the same with uh, biological reproduction. If you see how uh, dog breeds, you know, from the original ancestor of the dogs, you've got all these other canines that uh, you can't put them back together and go back and uh, breed them back into that original ancestor. The mm-hmm. information is gone. It's, uh, isolation of uh, genes, right? Hey, I put my genes on one leg at a time, just like everybody else. Yeah, well, how do you do with the clown shoes, buddy? Ha 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 ha! It's a trade secret. I am not prepared to divvy out to the likes of you. <laughs> wow, what are you getting all personal for? <laughs> Did, did somebody pee in your Cheerios and then make you was talking? Them? You was talking huh? 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 about my son, and Mrs. Obama. That's why. No. Huh. Yeah, that's right. No, and it's five foot, almost five foot four, and I, I couldn't get through the doorway. Duh. From a, a while ago, I didn't say anything when I read it. Just came back to mind because I'm. Reading. What was that Beatles song? You come in through the bathroom, bedroom window? Bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom. bathroom window? She. Yeah. She. she came in through the bathroom window. Why it's a did long she do title. That? Because yeah, that's why? the son they wrote. That's why. See, you know, nah, see, writers and they're cryptic. Eh. Oh, nah. I was singing it backwards. See, there you go. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> what a way to end a show. Ouch. And I got the right time, so uh, you got anything important going on in there? Yeah, Our I'm cameras. a... Yeah, I got... My voice is... Uh, <coughs> so I'm not going to... Wow, that was regular radio. For, I can see like I can get a break in here talking with you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been fun. I had a good time tonight. Yeah. I made so I some notes here. along the way. I gave it a title. But there you go. When I can get my voice back, I would go back to uh, uh, the reading portion. And uh, I have, uh, uh, I, I'm just taking it as an indicator that it's a good time to be silent if your voice is uh, mm. kind of broken. Right? Well, so, uh, yeah, I've, I've got other things to work on in, uh, in the background. But I, I figure I can be good to pop over here and uh, irritate you uh, sometimes on a perfect world, contrast in the occupation. What does that taste like? <laughs> what? These cells are not... Uh, replicate it perfect. They lose information. and you know, Eventually, uh, it, you'll just breed uh, out of existence. Everything will, just like entropy, heat death. And the information will no longer move. The little balls, the clacking balls will cease to swing. Add that in there, clacking balls, whatever that's called. You want to do that? No. I'm, I'm just concerned about the world that we're going to leave, Keith. Well, you know, in the scheme of things, our time's pretty short here in this world. Not for Keith. Keith is going to outlive cockroaches. I doubt it. Well, yeah, he's got that special stuff. <laughs> Anyway, that was it. We got quiet on this here end of this show. Anyway, anything anything left 
want to pitch another show, tell anybody to go anywhere or do anything? Yeah, uh, come to reallibertymedia.com, rlmradio.xyz. Oh. Check the schedule. Come over Sundays for how. Grim, they're playing some blues and some trivia here. If you got fast fingers, come on over and poke, poke them in here. Poke yeah, them in do that. And dig deep. Give Grim some dough if you have it. There you go. Yeah, I set up a fund, a monthly uh, fund. Because, and, uh, yeah. So it all, at the end of the year, it all add up. That's you're a yeah. creature of habit, sir. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah we got man to, got man. projects to get into. Um, I do, I do. All right, well, I'm sending Grimner the notes as we nice. speak. That way, when we're clear of this, I'm going to go eat some dinner out here in Denmark. Good for you. So I'm going to say my goodbyes for real when I say goodbye. I'm goodbye. done over Roger Wilco and out, but I'm going to leave the um, wire in, uh, in the uh, RLM running, but I'm going to be busy. So you Thanks know. for listening. Hey, man, you know, all you crazy people out there in, you know, in a perfect world man thanks a lot see ya next week au revoir